Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your on Captain. Today we're going to be putting the data doubler into the optical drive bay that we had taken out when we installed the SSD drive. You see here we have the optical uh, drive already removed and that is the uh, optical drive you see there in my hand I'm comparing to the data doubler. And we're going to take the hard drive you see laying there beside the uh, optical drive and we are going to put it onto the data doubler but first we have to remove a couple of things that we want to add to the data doubler uh, one thing you want to add that I should have already shown is there's a little piece of a uh, cable that must be attached it comes off the back of the optical drive and goes onto the uh, data doubler and you also have to put the little uh, there's a little clip that goes on there and I'm, you can see in the uh, video here, I already have the uh, cable attached. And now I'm attaching the little clip that has to go on the data doubler. That is one of the screw, thing, screw holes that you have to attach to the data doubler. You will, this will help hold the uh, data doubler inside the computer securely. And it's pretty easy to put on. It's just got a couple screws that goes in. And you can see it's fairly simple to do. You just, uh, they already have the holes pre-drilled. Everything lines up perfectly. And you just put your screws on there and tighten them up. And then you're good to go. And once you get the little uh, clip on there and everything positioned properly, securely, then you will put your hard drive on. Now you need to push your hard drive onto the down into the data double or line it up properly and that's what it looks like when you get it finished. You can see the little clip on the end there along with the little piece of cable. Now we're going to put it in the computer which we already had the back and everything already taken off from the SSD install. If you haven't watched that video you need to check it out. Uh, as you can see, the optical bay uh, is empty, and that's where we're going to be placing the data doubler and the hard drive. This is a 500 gig hard drive that came when my when I purchased my MacBook Pro new. So now I'm going to be using the OWC Pro 6G SSD and the hard drive that came with my computer I'm going to be using both of them together but I'm going to be running applications and OS from the SSD and I'll use the hard drive for storage now when you secure it back in there you need to make sure that you get all your screws and everything back in properly if I can remember exactly correctly, there's only three screws on the data doubler and it comes with its own hardware. So you're going to have some screws left over when you finish, so don't freak out and think you've left something off because that one little screw right there in the corner that you see me, I had to actually loosen and remove the camera part of that uh, that you see me a hold of right here uh, there's a couple screws you have to take out in order to get to that screw in the corner so just be real careful and the two screws you take out of the camera section just lay them over separately so you don't get them mixed up and then once you get that screw in the corner in there you can tighten your camera section back down and then start installing the data doubler and you can see right here there's only a couple screws on on the that's this side and I think there's one on the other side and when you get those in there securely you want to make sure that you reattach all of your cables and you probably want to make sure you have some tweezers handy because you're going to drop one of those screws down in there and have a time finding it and getting it out and that's what you see me doing right there. But we got it out and got everything removed and got everything hooked up properly. Uh, there's one little last clip we need to attach over here. And 
it's about two or three inches long and it sits down on top of the uh, SSD. So we'll be putting that in here just shortly and getting the cables all snapped back into place. Um, just make sure that you get everything. There was three big cables that snaps back on and then you got the little uh, the little clip like one but we're still attaching the uh, data doubler right now looks like but we'll get to everything lined out and get rolling here just in a second but as you can see there looking at as you can see there looking at the uh, computer we have the data doubler and the hard drive pretty much attached to the computer and we're going to put the cables back on and make sure everything is attached and secure before we finally cover our, put our cover back on. But like I said a while ago, we still need to make sure we get that little clip over here on the top. I think I may have waited to a little last go around before I attached it. But uh, we'll get it on there and get, we still got the one cable I see that goes from the uh, SSD over to the logic board. We still haven't attached it yet and we'll be hopefully getting everything into posi the proper position here shortly. And you can see right there we're putting that uh, that cable and here's the SSD cable I was telling you about. You need to make sure when you put those down to be very careful because those pins could be damaged if you were to get one of them crossed up and mash it down in there real hard. They go in real easy so if it's not snapping in just just right then you know something is not going in the way it should be. But overall this is not that, that bad of an, an install. I do recommend it. It's, a, it's an awesome upgrade for anybody wanting to improve the quality and speed of their computer. And once you get everything all snapped back into place on the inside, you're going to put your 10 screws back into your cover and make sure you get those top three longer screws back in the correct position and get everything tightened down properly and then you'll be ready to boot up. Alright guys, if you ain't a subscriber, hit that subscribe button.